opting towards ramp. Taking a wall of master spot, and that's gonna be a rush going towards ramp cold here and a good position here though. Gets the first one, gets the second one, almost the third one. Bimas not falling away. Oh, is he? There we go. Can't really figure out what decision he has to make. It's a three versus three all of a sudden. Cold Zero getting off to a good start, but... That, that was a little curious. I felt like... Uh, I don't think it's just him having to make the decision. I feel like comms are a little bit off, but Nico's position, this is brilliant. He spots a bomb oh. Two bullets, two kills. Thank you very much. And it's all in Crystal now. And he's floating around the little bombs at back vents. He's going to be making his way upstairs. But the bomb down and the three CDs alive. He's got a lot of work to do. Does Crystal. He's going to be creeping up. And he spots a Nico. Now we do have the reinforcements arriving. He finds one, two more to find. He's going to pick up the bomb though, but this is going to get a little tricky indeed. Sure is, and he picks taken down by Rain. And I guess that's the start you want if you're face clan. Peter 50s and Deagles can still do a little bit of uh, extra damage onto face. So they want to play this one a little bit passively. And Bimas, the first test for the young lad of face, which is over the burst fire. It's a spray fire. They actually gets two kills, but quickly does take him down. They have retrieved the FAMAS, but Nikon Cold Zero not really allowing Gotham to get much done with the solitary FAMAS they picked up. And he's going to be waiting here patiently. Now he's going to be spotting out Madden, and he's going to snap straight onto him. Now he's completely unaware there's a player who's made his way towards Heavens, but the man advantage definitely established your phase for the time being. Now Bomb with Crystal, and he needs to bide his time. He can't just push on in. And he's waiting patiently, and Bimas is going to be walking on up. Frolic finds Nico. That's massive. Suddenly things have turned around, and now Crystal's going to be dropping into his upper bomb site, but it's going to be cold there. It's going to find the frag. Bomb on the site. And look at what look at what Brooke is doing on the ladder, <laughs> but Frolic's going to get the kill. Suddenly, it's a man advantage of phase, and Nico continuing to aggress. He's looking for more, and this time he could work out wonderfully for him. He's going to spot one now. Nico ready and waiting, and Nico oh. Nico flips around. 180 shot. Nico falls, and that's equilibrium established for the time being. That would have been the kill for Nico right there now. Gatson gets to plant the bomb. Cold Zero moving in with an M4 in hand, though. Not quite aware there's a player below him. Gets the kill, though. Now, however, two versus two. Sin in a good position, though, sitting in the vents, making it super tough for Brokey or Essi. Finding a kill towards Stuko. Now there's only one player left, and that has to be Sen. The bomb defuse relatively soon. They have no Brokey idea where Sen one. is playing from, and there we go. He has a kit. Gotten find the bomb quick enough, though, and Sen gets the kill, and that's it. Round over. But a great attempt here from Faceman as we see them duel it out. Cold Zero gets away with the kill and probably also survive. So despite Faceman not investing a lot into this round, Eek something out, and we do see a fox play coming. He's going to be walking on dry, and Nico is going to take that energy of the week. What are they thinking? As Nico's going to find himself two free frags, and now Crystal not even able to get the trade. Tico does find Bimas in the meantime towards the ramp area, and the youngster has been struggling a little bit so far. Still early days, though, and there's not much to read from that. Look at Nico re aggressing, and he's going to find a third kill for him. Oh, oh he runs out of bullets, but he has enough time to switch over to his USB. And it's going to be all on Sticko now as Brokey chimes in with a frag of his own, and Sticko left alone in a 1v4 with the bomb dropped out in the open. B must feel uh, comfortable. And uh, considering it is Godson's map pick, fifth, uh, eight in fact on this T side for Godson. And I wouldn't be surprised if they keep trying to bully uh, Bimas towards the ramp area. And I'm 100% sure the phase is going to be aware of that. That means they're going to be sending another player there, leaving the upper bomb site very, very vulnerable. As Cold Zero is going to find one, he needs to find more, but they're going to go oh, for the double But Cold Zero, brilliant start from him. He's got to find four, and Broke jumps in with a frag of his own. It's a brilliant hole from Cold there. Oh, they have some of the best players who have ever graced the game of counter Global Offensive on that lineup. And that's what they need to do here. But Nico gets completely mowed on a drive-by by Crystal through the smoke. And it's going to do the smart thing and fall on back. And uh, that's a huge kill, considering Crystal's the only player with the uh, with the SMG. Cold Zera, lucky to stay alive there. They tried to go in for the push, try to go in for the trade. But that, uh, that silo was saving him. Right now, though, I mean, just got a point pointed out of uh, him. This is very, very interesting from FaZe. They're looking very solid indeed, considering uh, they lost the first couple of rounds. But Zen finding rain, and that's going to neutralize the man advantage they had. And they're going to be going for a fast pace with low bomb, bomb side. Yeah, I don't know what rain was doing in that duel right there. There was no need for him to fight. Bimas now has to take a duel towards lower, and he can't quite connect the spray, or can he? Finds the kill, and Stuko gets away. That's good for him now. Has to wait for the backup. Cold Zero finds the kill towards Sin. And now we got a three versus one. Cold Zero has to come in as a backup. Crystal find the first one towards Ramp. Now Bomb is down, faking the door open. That could be a big problem right here. That is well played by Crystal. Now can he find the kills? That is Alpha Omega. Doesn't find the kill. Nope. Cold Zero gets him and he's off to such a strong start. That should be enough for a team like FaceKin.
Bali still peeking. Nico finds a kill towards Maiden, and that's an interesting duel as well. Nico gets away with a smoke as well. Goes for another duel as Rain oh. comes out and finds two kills towards Yad. I just said it. You hadn't really done much in this game so far, but finding two kills right here, and that's just completely dismantling guts in play. This is looking way too easy for face clan. Rain is indeed in a good position to deal with it though. Question is, will he be affected by the flashes now? Walks in, takes the duel right here. Can't really find Stuka. And question is, he's better to close the door. He is. Finds Stuka through the wall. That's <laughs> perfectly played by Rain. Finds another one towards Maiden. And now it's all of a sudden a three versus two. Brokey coming in from heaven as well. With the backup, with the AWP in hand. Farley, we haven't seen much of him in this game so far. He'll have to step it up right here, right now. Goes for a shot towards the door. Ten finds a kill. And that's a nice shot by Farley. All of a sudden turning around the round. And now we have to see the new boy. Farley is still sitting on side. Question is, is he gonna check just below him? And the other player is playing the bomb lower, so this could be a strong one right here. Finds the first kill now. Has to figure out that the bomb is not planted on this upper bomb side. He does realize it, but time is off the essence now. He has to be fast player. He has to be very fast. Oh, no! Okay. okay! Welcome to phase, Clan Dimas. Welcome to phase. Play towards ramp, play towards control room. Dimas would have had needed a lot of time to clear all those angles. And even with a kit, it would have been very, very close indeed. Madden, that's nice. Okay, all right, that's okay. unreasonable now. Okay, okay. He's able to get the flank on, because you do have a one player. Oh, the timing, though. He's actually going to get the flank in here. And it's going to be quite troublesome indeed. Nika, however, catches Crystal, making his way through Mini. And that's going to give a little bit of an opportunity for Colder to make something happen, but he's completely blinded. And he's going to fall to Madden, but Bema's finding Faldig, and he's going to fall, leaving it all to Nico in a 1v3. He's going to find one, but the trade comes in Madden with a massive 4k. Thorn in the secret area, and this has been a problem. There hasn't really been an entry much. And look at Nico, just the aggression, just going for the fights. And Nade's gonna oh, be jumped in. Ouch. Oh, that's gonna hurt, and it's gonna be Brokey. He's gonna chime in with one, and Nico looking for more. He's not gonna fall back, he's gonna hold W. And in the flames, he's gonna find another kill. Nico is an absolute madman, and when he's gonna get going like that, pimp, I fear for whatever team he's gonna be facing off against. Look at the confidence from Nico right there. Absolutely stunning by him. And leaves only Maiden left. Last round, he got four kills. He'll have to do it one more time. Going for him right now, but this seems almost impossible. Can he find a kill towards Brokey? He cannot face a closeout the first half, 11 to 4. Ah, oh, everything. It's a CD slide now. Uh, on Nuke, it's a map pick. We need everyone to step up. His Nico has been very quiet. Okay. And look at the pace being set by, by Cold Zera. For all to stop in his tracks. But Bimas, the uh, the battle of the of the two new additions of the teams. And uh, Bimas is going to win that duel. He spots a player out right there. And he's going to be pushing on ahead. It's going to be the entry under this fight. And it's going to be Rain, in fact. It's going to find a kill on his end. Sticko replying back two quick kills, making it a 2v3 in favor of his team. And the bomb's dropped as well. This is not looking good for FaZe. Bit of a rough position there with a USP. Question is, can he get more away from this round? Can't really quite connect the shot on towards Ooh, neither Brokey or Nico for that matter. Now it's a two versus two as Brokey finds another kill. Now Bomb is still down. Oh, look at the timing. Brokey, I think he just about saw him and I don't think Stigo has any idea. Look at that. He does it, finds the kill. 15th frag for him now. And it's a one versus two for Crystal. Bomb is still down, but the German will have to step it up now. Yeah, he's waiting patient. Now he's aware. He knows that there's one player towards Ram, and he's aware that Nico might be on the flank. Nico, and I like this. I like the distraction play from Brokey. Breaks the window, and it's going to force Crystal, but he's got such a good read on this. He hears him coming out, and that's brilliantly played by Brokey. Not just about the first frag, but the way he played distraction. Jet, I could imagine it's already going on. That was just simply unlucky. As Space Clan is powering their way through the ramp, they are playing this T side with a very high pace so far. Rain with a bison. We don't see that in professional gameplay too often. Maiden making the rotation. Crystal finally killed with the deagle. And look at that. Face clan, what are you doing? Completely falling apart from you. Stigo with a frag. Maiden with a frag. Nico answering back with a single of himself. And we're now in a two versus three. Definitely an opportunity for Gatsen right here. Nico, AK-47, Ultimate Kalashnikov, and then 5-7 at that range is going to be deadly indeed. He gets digged down, but he survives, and it's all on Brokey now. 1v3, he's going to smoke off the door, hoping for someone to peek on out. No one's peeking in. Everyone's playing this together, and this is smart from Godsend. Door's going to be opened up. The two players ready and waiting. He's going to try and time this out. Finds one, finds two, stops the three oh. first, and it's wet, but Crystal is going to deny the clutch from Brokey. Secret. In. Not able to catch anyone through the smoke just yet. He's still trying. A lot of damage has been dealt towards Brokey and Bimas. Nico with the Deagle finds a kill towards Maiden, and that may be the opening phase can need. This game is all over the place right now. The pace is incredible high. Stuka finding one, finding two. Can't find the third one. Does a lot of damage, though. 
Now the bomb goes down three versus three. Farley being very patient. He doesn't take the shots through the smoke. That's gonna lure Bimas into a fault in the security. 2v3. Pimp and Colter is alive with the Deagle of his. That's always a scary proposition. The smoke off the bomb, though, just gotta make things a little bit easier as they do stick it. And I do believe that it's Crystal with a, uh -oh. with a kick, but Brokey, blunder or not, he still gets the kill. Zen's looking desperate to get the trade, and he does get it, but he's so very low. Now it's all on cold. 1v2, and they're so low. He finds one looking for the second kill, but he won't. And Frolic, the newbie on the Goth side, he clutches it out. They're gonna be very wary of this Tico pushing up. He should get a free frag. Takes a bit of time though, and that's gonna allow Bimas to go for the immediate trade. Frolic and Madden, they reply back immediately, however, and it's gonna leave Nico and Bimas. 15 seconds left of this round. They'll have to make their move towards inside, and now Sen coming in with the flank. I think he's gonna catch off Nico right here. He will, and that's probably round done and dusted. Goes for the fake plant. Finds the kill towards heaven. Still has time to plant the bomb. This could be a clutch from the new young prospect the face clan. Still afraid Will to make indeed. the move. Yeah, there we go. We spot him towards heaven. Doesn't see him though. Maiden takes him down. Was sitting on top of hut behind the smoke. Just floating with danger. It's unnecessary. As Tico is gonna hit one. Looking for more. Double scoped him. Doesn't matter. He's gonna find the double anyway. And now he's gonna be falling on back down. And just then joining the party as well. Nico finds a kill, but a trade comes in. And Sticko, he's just gonna stick on around. He's not afraid to take this duels. Finds another one. And it's all in Brokey, left alone in a 1v4. And he's stuck in a corner, right? Like a rat getting hounded by all the CT members of Goth. And Molotov's gonna keep Crystal at bay for now. But he knows there's a flank coming in. And he's looking so worried at the moment. He's gonna find one, but how much longer can he survive? Yeah, well, you got your answer right there. Not much longer doing that instead he's gonna be pushing in through the smoke and trying to get his flank in this is much faster pace again it's again speed from face but this time around it's gonna work or not it's a question it's gonna be crystal he's gonna find one finds two looking for more but Caldera is gonna drop him and now it's a three take the back it's a 2v3 zen sneaking around to it squeaky finds a frag but Caldera he's still up and kicking and brokey and cold in a 1v2 falling alone and cold's gonna clutch it out 3k for him He's playing hearts out right now, keeping face clan alive. Bimes finding a kill towards Maiden as well. And maybe this is exactly what they need. Godson feeling the pressure and starting to make the mistakes. Look at the money they have. They have nothing left in the bag. If they lose this one, they will have to go for the eco. But Crystal somehow finding his way on top of old Red Rock. And he does so much of damage on Nico and Brokey. He will be found out though. So man advantage, two man advantage in fact for FaZe Clan. And this is a round they can't afford to throw away. They have a look very shaky throughout. This is a round where they can break the economy of Gods and stick up with a beautiful shot on the Nico. But a trade comes in again. And it's all on Falk and Zen. What have they got? The Zen's alone on the upper bombs and it just had the MP9 to work with. Should do now. There we go. Rain finds kill towards Farley. Zen, left man alive. If you can add that extra layer of understanding to the game, they can be some of the best. They'll have to finish it up for Gatsu. No, they have invested everything into this round. 14 to 11. Sen finds a frag. He's taken down by Brokey. Another nice shot by Cold Zero. He's been all over the place this game. Farley, though, gets the refrag. And once again, we have a round where all the action is happening within the first 20 to 30 seconds. The pace is not going to slow down, boys, so you better follow suit. Yeah, this is probably one of the fastest games that Nico ever seen. I mean, I'm talking about like the way the round's playing at Frolic. Nice little flick there. And all of a sudden, this is a round where FaZe could have just... Farley's still unsure whether or not he can go down the stairs in safety. And now he can Maiden in a good position to deal with this bomb plan or what? I think they've completely misread the situation. Bomb gets planted on the lower bomb side. Maiden, for whatever reason, thought it was going to be on the upper bomb side. And now there's a chance for FaZe Clan to actually win this round. Nico in a good position. Has to find a frag though. Closes the door in the face of Maiden, goes for the duel towards the other side, can't connect the shot, goes down, and that's about it, Nico. And he's gonna survive, I do believe that was Rain, if I'm not mistaken, and Farley's so very low, still looking for more, and it's gonna be Zen, in fact, he's gonna get the kill, but that's gonna be the call for the hit towards upper, oh! perfectly time, Bimas, that was built! And what now, what was that from the new signing of face game? what an insane <laughs> flick, pulling it back now, it's still a one versus two, Stuko finding the first kill, Bomb is down, and Nico is down to 19 HP. Where did he lose so much of guards and now? Let's see if he sticks it. He does not. Bimas going for the duel, finds the kill, and that should be it. Farley down to 9 HP. Now know where he is. All Bimas have to do is stay alive, and that's going to be round number 15 for Clan. 
still early days, but hey, I'm telling you, he's starting to gain some confidence. You can see it, Pip, and that's so cool to see. Again, opening it up, finds one, finds two, and that, ladies and gentlemen, could be the game. Sorry, could be the map here. Gotham, fickle left in a 1v5. This one's done, Pimp. Lower right side of your screen, but what is he supposed to do when it goes down to cold zero? 16. Smoke, couple of flashbangs, a Molotov, and an extra smoke as well. And they're going to be coming and charging in. It's going to be Stickle opening things up and a push from Rain and Bimas. They're going to find a couple of kills real quick. And they're just going to continue exactly where they left off on Nuke. Very high pace. It can give them some cover. Much needed. Bimas in a good position here, though, with the clock. If he can find the first kill, that should be it. Rain gets it towards Maiden, and I think this is going to be it. This retake looks highly unlikely to happen for Garten. Rain finds another one with the USP, and he finishes it off with Cold Sierra now. Face Clan again, exactly as we were talking about. You know, this style in this map in particular could work out. Here comes a play again, but stick up, blinded or not, he gets a kill, looking for more, but Nico and Rain, they deny him. Farley as well, getting taken out by a grenade of Nico's, and Again, Gartzen will have to give up before it even. Nevertheless, they're going up 3-0. Question is, how many people are they going to survive this round? Nico finds another kill and combines with BMS for the fifth one as well for the round. Small nuances in the game that's not going to work out. Nonetheless, CT spawn gets smoke. Cold Zero finds the first frag towards Farley. Second frag on Maiden as well as up to Kristen to defend this bomb side. All of a sudden, we have a three versus three. It was looking super solid for Garten, and now they're forced into a retake scenario. Bomb hasn't gone down just yet. Smoke is about to disappear as well. Cold Zero has to be fast. Question is, does he get this bomb plan? He does. Crystal jumping in, goes Ooh. down to Brumas. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. Brokey with an AWP has to defend this bomb side. Finds the frag towards oh. Ten. And now all he has to do is stay alive, buy some more time if he can. Stuko trying to find him, hiding behind the pillar, and that's going to be a tough retake. No kit either, Blur. Yeah, Stiko, one of the more tenured players. You're almost gets the kill onto Vimas, but broke you with the AWP. He's not missing much right now, is he? Hasn't been the best debut for him, of course. Going up against Space Clan is in your very first match with a new squad. That's not easy. Vimas as well. He's going to burn to death right here. That's not lucky for the new player right here. And I guess the rookies are are getting a taste of what it's like being a real professional, dare say it. At least on this level, sometimes you gotta be ready for a lot of stuff. Face claim once again, they wanna explode towards this bomb side. Stuko getting caught out with a smoke. Stays alive, nope, goes down to Cold Zero. Sin as well. Rain takes him out, and it's the pace coming out of face claim right now. No matter where they go, no matter how fast they do it, it always catches guards and off guard. They got the first kill player, and then all of a sudden, upgraded pistols and Kevlar, a little bit of utility, and they're gonna try and work around this Madden's M4. There's only 15 seconds left. The flash comes out. It's going to be an explosion out of AEPS. We don't get to see it right here. Farley gets a kill towards middle. Nico finds one towards Stiku as well. And then looks like the bomb is going down right here from face clan. And we now have ourselves a two versus four. A smoke in the hands of Nico. He can smoke off towards Arch. He will do that. Yeah, this is the best opportunity I've had in forever. And it's all going to come down. Again, it's bro It's going to be Nico and Brokey. These two have been so phenomenal together. Brokey with the off looking towards... Library, but now it's all on him, and this is rough, especially when AWP is going to switch to the Deagle, though. And he's going to try and catch Man and dropping down mid air, but Gotham did finally get around on board to pick up the AWP as well. So does Gotham, though. Bali and Stuku combining for an aggressive down towards middle didn't work out. Bimas as well, ready forward, and he gets his seventh kill in the round, so. Definitely not to start Gartzen would hope for. Some more questions towards Banana. Can't find that kill either. Bumas as well just punishing Gartzen left, right, and center right now. He's been super well playing today so far. I think he can be proud of his debut. Nine rounds into this Inferno game as well. Refract from Maiden. Gives them maybe a bit of a chance to get back inside this round. Frolic and Madden and Zen. have so much work to do. Madden with a crucial kill into B-Max. Under B-Max. Almost called him B-Max there. And now <laughs> Cold Zero. Madden over towards that B bomb side. If Zen gets taken down, this could be it, but they might not be expecting him to be holding this angle. He can easily find a couple of kills, finds one, looking for more, and it's gonna be Madden, in fact, who gets the kill onto Nico, leaving it all unbroken. Tech 9 in hand, he gets a dink in, he gets a kill. 18 seconds on the clock, bomb drop. He still has to pick that one up. He's going in for the kill, off out. He's looking for the frag. 13 seconds, but in the smoke, Madden's gonna no scope him. You have the one player towards B that's Crystal, and he's playing all the way. Oh, that's brilliant. That is just brilliant. The bait jump from B-Mask and Brokey. He's not going to miss those. 
Oh man, if I'm mad and I'm feeling frustrated and angry right now, Sticko not able to get the trade and it's gonna be falling on back. Lovely stuff, but I love his re-aggression for Frolic. Uh. He misses it. He spots too many players. He finds one, but broke him in a trade. But Zen with a double trade in return, and all of a sudden it's turned on its head and it's in the hands of Cold Zera in a one v three. Trying to get out of apartments it didn't work out. Sin. Crystal sitting on the bomb side. He has to get at least one kill in order to make it possible for his teammates to refrag right here. Sticko going for the duel. Oh no. Crystal going down to Cold Sierra. And now, what was looking like a round that was going in the favor of Godsend. I felt like Chris, uh, Crystal didn't have to peek there. Sticko was doing a great job playing distraction. You know, and the, all the attention and teeth were on him. He could have he he could prevented Bomb from getting planted, but he peeks, he gets taken down, and now it's going to come down to Zen. He finds one trade, comes in to form the Beam Master, and it's all on Sticko. Cold Sierra is going to deny him. I have a lot of money in the bank either. If they do lose this round, they can potentially buy, depending on how the round plays out, bomb plants and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't matter though, because Maiden, he's going to be aggressive towards Banana. Find two kills, one on Nico, one on Bumas. Single-handedly one around for Godsend. Good to see he's still got it in him. A bit unfortunate for Bumas. I was just about to say he's been playing so well so far. Maiden Ooh. goes for the fourth kill as well. Does he get an ace? Nope. Cold Sewer says no, denies him the ace, but that was a very well-played round by Maiden. Yeah, not gonna happen at all. Obviously, Sticker already pushing up towards uh, the that. drains. No, it's not gonna happen, Pim. Let's be real here. Okay. Okay. There okay. we go. I think okay. it's been it's been a great half already from FaZe, but considering the lead they had, Pim, if they kinda like allow Godson to kinda come back into this one, it's gonna be very rough indeed. But those two kills are massive, and now it's all on Sticko. 1v3, all alone in the bomb side. He's gonna find one, but he's not spotted out. He's gonna do a smart thing, toss it in the nade. That's gonna take a chunk out of Nico. Bomb dropped as well, they gotta pick it up. And this is so well played by Sticko, but Rain, his little spider sense tingling, but he's now left in a 1v2. Not aware there's a player towards Arch, or is he? Checking towards CT spawn, he could catch a player right here, and he does so, nice by Rain. Puts it in on one versus one. There's a player towards middle. I don't think he knows where he is. And now he does. Stuka goes for the duel. Doesn't get the kill. Rain charging in and oh. finds the kill. An amazing clutch coming out from the Norwegian player. This game is hectic. This game is all over the place. Indeed it is. And I love the pace being set by FaZe here. They know where the AWP is. And it's going to be on Frolic. He finds a nice little flick on Drew Rain. And now they're trying to pressure him. Backup has arrived. There are three players now on the bomb side. Now, if Brokey gets the kill onto Crystal, they're going to be heading over to the B bomb side. As Nico's going to find one. Frolic's still alive with the AWP. He knows where the player is right on the smoke. It's Nico, the veteran, hunting down the player. Brokey. Plenty of time to work around here for Nico. Hitting down towards middle, well aware that Crystal could be sitting right here. Finds the kill as well. Nice headshot by Nico. That's going to open up the round one more time. Senate had a great half so far. Face Clan moving in towards this B bomb site. Does not find the first kill. Goes down to Broke. And now Farley has to retake the bomb site. Does not have a kit in hand. Do not have any. Yeah, I mean, clutch a kick, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think this one's going to happen here. Nico waiting patiently. I don't mm. even know how they manage. Looks like it's going to be this execute. Nico standing in a good position, though. If he can find the first one, cannot quite connect it with the USP. Has a flash, goes in. Rain finds one. Can he find more? He cannot. Now it's up to Nico to defend the bomb site. Has to get more than one, I'd say. If you want to get successful out of this Ooh. one, finally gets a nice kill with the Glocks. Finally stepping it up, and now it's a three versus four retake. Brokey. Seems highly unlikely that FaZe can walk in and win this one. Cold Sewer, though, has had a strong game so far. Strong series overall. It's going to be much needed as there's only two players left. Yeah, especially with uh, yeah, Bimus getting dropped there. I think there should be the call for the save. But Cold Zera is not quite done yet. He wants to pad the stats a little bit more, getting take down to one point of health. And he will try and escape his bro key, just sniping everyone down with a P2K. But in the end, Farlig is there to clutch, it, clutch that one out, although it was a little bit too late for FaZe. Relinquishing a lot of map control now. Crystal here. The moment he gets taken down, the moment Nico realizes no one there is going to be huge. But Cold Zera finding Zen, that's going to call for the play here. If both of them get taken down, it's going to be rough. But Nico's going to find Crystal and he's, the information conveyed. They haven't dropped on down. And it's going to be Madden who's going to actually get the kill. But he won't be expecting rain, is he? He's going to clear it out though. That's a massive double kill from Madden. And oh, Cold Zera's nearby, but it's so very low. And it's a oh. brilliant flash back at Madden. He even has time to turn back around, switch over to the Deagle, and catches Cold, dabbing away to glory and maiden thought to himself why not get a third kill and win the round well done by him well done by Gatson. 
And it's gonna be a faster hit. This is pretty much a phase recreated, but this time around, Nico with the spray finds two. He's gonna push on up further, looking for more, getting a little too over eager, perhaps. And he's gonna get taken down. It's all in rain right now, and they are very aware of his position, Pimp. They have an inkling where he might be, and he's getting hounded. Needs to raffle off a shot. Oh. Great little flick there to find Mad Madden. I thought it was done for, but he finds the kill. Bomb goes down. At least FaZe have the man advantage as you go in for this retake. The retake will come in in full force. Half of the bomb timer has already ticked down. They have to be fast now. They have to go in. Farley cannot connect the first one. Stuku in a one versus a three. Finds the first one. Cannot find Cold Sierra. Question is, do they have a kit? They do. Cold Sierra is going to defuse the bomb. It's going to be close, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, he just Ooh. about got it right what? there for Cold Sierra. That was super, super close. Finding two kills with the M4. This time around, though, he's gonna try with AWP. Gets flashed out, falls back. Nicely done by BMS. Finding a kill towards Stuku in middle. Brokey, ready and waiting for another guy in middle. Also ready for number two. Question is, can he get away now? Good flash from his teammate. Still haven't found a way out of here. Now he does, and there we go. A five versus three for face clan. Great opening right here. Successful with the aggression. Yeah, especially Brokey surviving there is massive, right? A little unfortunate the trade didn't take place then as well. Unfortunate timing that Nate almost gets to kill his cold Zera. Just massive cojones on the man to go for the white peak, finds Zen. And with that, Frolic and Crystal. Well, they win the aggression, they win the duels, and all of a sudden, face can find themselves in a very comfortable position. And one player, Bim, is the only man playing towards Pit. And, and now they're going to be coming for the hit. They're not going to be expecting this. Broke is going to find one. And they're getting slaughtered here. But Coldzera on the side. They have no idea. They're not going to be expecting any to play. Look at the trigger discipline from Coldzera. This is God like one. Looking for more. No. But Frolic is going to get the kill. They still know where Pimus is. I really thought Cole would get both the frags there. Pim unfortunately just finds the one. And now it's a 2v2 post match. Fali and Stuku combining for a kill each, winning that round Cold Silver. You said it. Somehow forcefully changing my mind. They they just build up this this momentum that they're just rolling with. And despite a couple of a couple of rounds going the way of phase, uh oh, Cold Zera though. I say something and he shuts me up. Two huge kills and look at the damage being dealt to Crystal as well. And despite getting the kill in rain, he walks and not completely unaware where Frolic might be. That might have been a crucial mistake. It's a 3v3 now. Nico down to 25 points of health. Brokey all alone with the op towards that arch area. If he gets his kill, it could be big. And that's a bomb down. That is massive. Zen dropping the bomb and dropping the ball as well. This could be the round right here. It could. Brokey though, in a good position. Bomb is down. A good smokes come in from Gatsen right here. A great Molotov from BMS again. He may only sit on 13 kills, but they've been super, super impactful. That one right there, that's maybe a... And he's only at 17 HPs. Have a strong, strong T-side so far. And that shot, unfortunately, didn't connect for him. And that puts up face claim to 13 rounds. Now Faldic is going to oh, line shoot. it up. And left flicks. There we go. Gets rain. And now Nico. It's all on him. They know where he is. Tosses the smoke. Not expecting Madden to be so close. This could be the round here. Unless the player they're holding the line. They hear a smoke hit his feet. Cold Zera. So unfortunate. He gets the one kill. But that's about it. I think the round's done. FaZe will have to save the, the two players here. Both Bimus and Brokey can drop a couple of guns onto Rain and Cold Zera. And Nico can buy for himself. But if one of them die... <laughs> And I jinxed it completely. You know, Brokey left alone. Two more players right here. That's going to put on too much pressure on their economy. That's why they're not going for the full hunt right here. Brokey trying to stay alive in the smoke. He's doing it so, so well. And I think he... No, he does not get away with it. Cold Sierra had a strong night so far. Can he find the first one? He can. Doesn't find the second one. Brokey does though. Finds a kill. Gets back on towards the side. Well played by the youngster on face clan. Smokes himself off. Goes for another oh! kill through the wall. Absolutely fantastic by Brokey. Backup coming in from Bimas, and now it's a one versus two. Stuko has the bomb in hand, has a smoke, puts it down straight away, and the aggression is coming in straight off the bat from FaZe Clan. Stuko is well aware, though. I think he heard him find the first break as well. Doesn't find Nico, takes him down through the smoke. And as we were talking about, bro, this game just keeps on delivering. The smoke as well. This is complete chaos now, but the reinforcements have arrived, and this is going to be the final hit. Rain finds another one, but he quickly gets traded by Farley. Cold Zero in a good position right here. Goes down to Farley. What a shot by the newest addition to the Guardsman roster. Bringing out the AWP and puts it to the face of Cold Zero. Unfortunately, he cannot hit the second one. We now have a one versus two again. Stuku, it didn't work out the last time around. You have another shot to make it for Guardsman. 
Waiting for the bomb to be tapped now. Does he go for it? He plays it ice cold and what? Does he go for the duel? He does go for it. Finds the first frag. Well aware the second guy is not defusing. One versus one now. Against Bimas. Only has a Femast. No smoke, no nothing. Doesn't stick it. Has to win out the duel. He cannot find the kill. And that's going to be Stuku weighing the round of what? Right here. Loses out of the duel. Is the time for it? No. No. There is not. It's going to be Gatsen going up 15-14. Rain did everything he could in his power to win this round. Pushes Cold Zero into an unfortunate position. Those are flesh, stays alive, goes for a duel, but goes down to Maiden. Four versus four. Broke him, peering out around the corner. Timing is great. Two double body shots from the Deagle. He doesn't pick up a weapon, though, and that's going to be the call for Godson to go for the hit. They're going to waterfalling out, but Sticko clotheslines Brokey with the AK-47. Are they aware of Vimas' position, though? He's got the M4, he's got the kid, they got a couple of flashes, and they have no idea where he is. He can hear the footsteps, Pimp, and he's going to avoid the flash. Still holding the line, finds one, looking no. for more. Switches to the AK-47 at the worst time possible, and that's the immaturity in the player coming out to play there, leaving it all in rain in a 1v2 MP9 in hand. He can still clutch his one out. Pim is slowly creeping up. He knows there's Frolic is, but Frolic is going to come out on top, touches it out, and that... Instead, they try and get up Cat, and this is where Godsent have got the majority of players stacked on up. You're going to be walking into a very heavy setup here oh. if you're phase. And Stiko and Farlig, they have laid the entire round to rest. It's going to fall onto Cold Zera. And he's getting whittled down up on the catwalk. Doesn't have armor. He's gone for the flashbangs in this round. So the aim punch is playing into it as well. These shots are going to have to be remarkable from cold. Yeah, but there was, if there was any man for the job, Harry, it would be this man. Ooh, missed shots though, and down to 15. Just a bullet away from death, and he'll land it to the face of Crystal. Now the cat flank fast as well, and cold is not ready for it. It's Farley with three. But the bomb is still found here. Madden tries to hop, skip, and jump his way over. A little impromptu boost. They put the Famous up nice. on it. Seiko. Obviously, his years of being a support player there coming in as he tried to boost the MP9 up first. And he gets given the angle instead. Now, Crystal in with another. Seiko continuing to find these numbers. These guys are so irritating to play against. They're just hopping around. But Cold has made quick work of them. Brokey's helped out. And now it's Farlig all alone with this orb. Can't find Cold's error, and Cold's gonna best him in the head to head. Now, Cold did a great game just moments ago back on Inferno. It's a heavy long setup for Godson. Face are flashing in late. This is a danger, but luckily the flash is good. Seiko is blind and dead. Immediately, Face is burst his position, and Godson were not ready for the late play. Rain. Oh my, he is just decimating Godson on the A bomb site. And maybe it's the pace for Face that will put them up on a second. No one can stop them here. Zen is too far away, and that lower play from BMAS is going to drop him as well. So I want it soon, but we might not get it at all because FaZe are looking to take everything away from Godsen in this B bomb site, including the round. Crystal's ridded of his position, and now, well, that's it. FaZe are on board. Welcome to Dust 2, ladies and gents. There's pretty much nothing Godsen can do right now. Smoked out of the site, no utility, no kit, and Cold Zero is already killing your opponents in your own spawn. So. Yeah, this is pretty good for FaZe. It's all about kills for Godsent and getting away with a couple of guns here at the bare minimum. Zen will find cold, but Seiko's got to be careful in the spawn. That's where the orb sits, and it does not move. A turret is broke. Zen gets away with another kill. He's just freestyling this one, running around the map like it's deathmatch. He's riled up, you know? Like, they shouldn't have let that, that second yeah. map slip through their fingers. And this time, he took it with him over towards Long. He didn't really have a good spawn. Oh. Prince, it's been left to these two right. He can try and feel the deal. Nico not ready. Mystico up close at the blue bin. Now Zen retreating into the site, gonna join up with Farlig. There's two players here to hold down the catwalk. And while Farlig, okay, yeah, he gets traded right away. Zen is still here and still very much a threat. He lights up the scoreboard. He's gonna put up three to his name. Try and move back in. Molly that position, keep it contained. But Farley's actually cleared out long in the meantime, dropping rain. This is a big problem for FaZe. It might mean they have to commit to B, which is not what they wanted to do initially. Crystal's still here. He hears all of the footsteps coming in through the tunnels. And you can see Godson beginning a rotation. Crystal needs a couple of kills here. He needs to hold the line. And he's done exactly that and more. Running out of ammo, needs a teammate full support. Cold does find him in the door and looks to double up. But it's Madden to save the day and even saves the AWP as well. 
Yeah, that just might throw a bit of a spanner in the works. They're still looking to commit to it. And the Flash is not Ooh. great, but Cold Zera is going to get the kill anyway. What? The Flash didn't blind Farlig. It did blind Brokey, however. <laughs> so if Cold went down there, there was no trade. That is a huge kill for him to find. Brain now dealing with Steeko as well. Cold continuing to tap these heads off. Beamass holding on to this lower push. He's ready and waiting. Crystal going to slip through this smoke. Ooh, he nice. does get the advantage there. Deals with Beamass and has left the two on three open. Rain able to get that trade. To Zen, one on three. So, great layered attack there from, uh, from the FaZe Clan. Now, mid control attempted, but this is... Uh, I don't want to say a suicide mission, but that's almost what it was for Rain. Like, he was just throwing himself out into mid to cause chaos to try and force these rotations. And while all this is going on, the rest of his team have worked their way up oh. long. And this momentary confusion that Rain caused forced these players out of position. They were fixated back towards long. They weren't ready for Nico coming up the catwalk. Doing it again. <laughs> don't worry, he's not winning the round anyway. And FaZe... They're not worried either. Will be a kill going the way of Steeko to Nico and an AK drop, but well, Steeko already had one, so. Build up, this is it. This is the build up. You're in it. Welcome to it. I hope you're enjoying it. But boy, oh boy, the comfort's over. That was the calm before the storm. Now we're in the storm. A crystal, oh, laying down the pay, but only good for one. It's Brokey and BMAS opening up this B bomb site. Lots of bees. Warming on in, and now that bomb plant comes Ooh, through, dear. Madden tries to run the gauntlet, and that's a little bit overzealous. Wanted to get in, you know, while they're getting the bomb plant, knowing that at most there might be a, like one or two crosshairs trained on him, but still a very, very overzealous push. Eco in the tunnels doesn't fare any better, and for Farlig, he's probably thinking about saving this all. The window and door in tandem. Ah! And even then, Farlig, you thought he'd got away. The old saying, you can run. He can't hide. He's good at Flash into B for FaZe. They want to try and fight this all back. And great trade from BMAS. He gets a double. He opens up B. And he may have just won this round for FaZe. Cold is putting in more kills as we speak. And there's only two players left up for Godsend. Madden oh, does double but, down in the B bomb site. And that's going to send the bomb packing back towards A. In the meantime. And now Rain and Cold Zeret. Two of the three season FaZe veterans left in this clutch. You know there's a man in CT. Mate Madden hasn't exactly been discreet with these oh. flashbangs and rain. Now looking for Madden as well. He's going to follow up with the double. It's 10 on the board. Have to rotate to be off the back of it. And when they got their face point there, Gotham was so surprised by that, uh, by the looks of things. So nice shot from Farley. Doesn't need the orb to find success. The scout will do it is well, but Godsend have still been cordoned out with this bomb slide by the utility. FaZe again in a 4-on-4 four four in B. Farley's going to flash his teammates back in, but we're looking for a heroic play. Madden, can you give us one? That's a start. Bomb dropped as well. Nico's going to trade, but he doesn't know that Madden is in the position. He's here for a third, and Madden might have just won this entire round for Godsend. Rain's got to somehow pick up the pieces with another 1v2. Yeah, the Molly's really going to complicate matters. He's got to go through it. And now four stuff on top of the box. The scout tags him. And Madden's there to solidify it with four kills. Inferno with the same scoreline. So let's see if Godsend can grind their way back in. It's a fast B play. Quick as you like. And Cold Zera here holding down the line. Does put up the first. He's got a teammate in tandem to support him. It's Brokey as well. Helping out, putting up another. The rotations are quick Ooh, and Farley. fast. Farley, two kills, but no more as the flank comes in from rain. Means they're going to be waiting some time before they get a full rifle round. Fast play up towards A. Here they go. Adam with the Deagle looking for the entries. There's a man on the site. They haven't ridden, uh, ridden either. Rain is there with two. Cold throwing in flashes to assist. Nico's dropped another with the scout one by one. They're all going to fall. Farley alone in a clutch. And, I mean, he is just not in the position <laughs> to do the job, you would think. And we'll back, the, the flick shot almost connects, but... No one here for FaZe Clan. Rain's going to try and get the position under control, but at this point, they've already pushed past it. He's going to go through the smoke. No fear for Rain. No one's watching either. And it's a rainy day in Dust 2. He is just making a melt. Six, uh, 14, rather, to five.
Well, they do try and get out over here towards Long. They get a man down in the pit as well. Oh! Nico hit that? I didn't even realize. I didn't even notice. Like, that was there was so much unnecessary mouse moving. But, like... So they've reopened their options. However, doing all of this has cost you a lot of time. And so you've got to pick up the pace now. And they go in towards mid. They manage to trade it effectively. Uh -oh. They keep a man advantage. Nico's taking it away. Brokey's dropped the bomb. And he's solidified map and series point for FaZe. It's right now. Yeah. Uh, Brokey's not been orping on this CT side, and I, I was like wondering about the single orb, but now it's a double orb, and he's still not taking it. So, so yeah, he's just like, yeah, guys, you're having fun, you're, you're hitting shots, just take it. All oh, right, fool. Nico's hit another one in the pit. Cold has been killed in middle. There are guns available, but right now, Godson are going towards the end goal with the A site in sight. Madden's got a kill to Nico down CT, and Brokey, he may have conceded the orb. There's one at his feet, but definitely with the goal of trying to save it, but he's going to hold on to it for now, and he knows that this orb is kind of like a bit of a bait. Maybe. Maybe for God's sake, they're looking for it, and uh, that's not the nicest of sprays from Brokey. With a Zeus. All right, Brokey, I see the game you're playing. I see what you're doing here, and let's see, because there is Zen on the other side. Ooh, there yeah. it is. We get the Zeus kill. And Brokey's now upgraded. Nico has found Crystal in the meantime. Uh -oh. It's a three uh -oh. on three, and on the back of a Zeus and an AWP, they might find success here. On the phase side, Brokey with this scavenged rifle. Here's the rotation into lower tunnels. They've cleared catwalk. Nico going to be the first point of contact to B, but Barlig, I think, is already holding for this peak. No, Nico actually offers up next. Nico oh. goes back in again, and he hits that flick. And a go. This is going to group and run the gauntlet right through the window. Madden getting spotted, but missed shots. And the time is ticking. No kill on this eco. Madden's dead. And Nico shuts out the round. The series It's over. It's phase clan up to 16. And off the back of pistols, Harry. Got it. I don't think they realized that B site was clear. Brokey had.